Hello folks. Well, back in the 70s, my flying buddy Dave Robinger, who did the machining on my Kyosho Hyperfly prototype, also experimented with multiple cylinder Cox engine coupler mechanisms. Well, sadly, Dave is now confined to a wheelchair with MS, but we talk a lot, and I asked him about his twin cylinder setup. He said he'd send it to me to experiment with. Well, it came the other day, so I was eager to mount it and get it running. Here's how it went. As you can see, it's pretty ingenious here. Now the tube up here on the top actually is in there because down in the bottom, he's put two fittings. So we filled this with oil. And that oil pumps through there and keeps these bearings from overheating. There's tiny bearings in the, uh, behind the gears there. And this to keep the overheating from happening on both sides. There are two intakes right here for the needle valves for each engine. Now they're set up right now to fire opposingly. So this one fires, then this one fires. Uh, I'm, he ran it this way, I'm gonna run it this way. If uh, it vibrates too much, I'm thinking maybe I could make them so they fire both at the same time. I'm not sure which is better, but it's pretty ingenious. I do want to run it now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is fill the oil reservoir, which are these hoses. Now this is to keep the front bearing. Those are full now. All right. Okay, let's figure this out. What I think I've found is that the oil reservoir hoses need to be cut and then separated from each engine. Because the front bushings of the engines were leaking little air from so many years of running. So that means the needle valves were actually controlling the other engine and vice versa. Separating the crankcases from each other cured the problem. I was able to set the engines individually as you'll see here.
<laughs> is it screaming or what? Look at that thing go, Dave. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo. finally got her going. <laughs>